Okay, so yesterday, um, a white man, suspected white supremacist, stabbed um, a brother of ours um, that worked at the Boost Mobile on Church in Notion. Um, no, he's not alright. He's losing blood there. Yes. Family members also. You can contact him. He just had a racial motivated motivated stabbing right here on Church Avenue. On Church Avenue. This white guy stabbed this black guy in Boost Mobile store. Now, now talking about it, about black punks and stuff like that. This is not going to happen in our neighborhood at all. This is not happening in our neighborhood. This is not going to happen in our neighborhood. You're not coming in our neighborhood and, 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 and think that you're going to get away with this type of behavior. No, no, you're not going to get away with it. You're not going to get away with it. Come in, come in the most mobile store and stab the guy about black nigga. Don't, 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 I, I don't like this. Yes, this, this is not going to happen in my neighborhood at all. Not on my watch, not while I'm alive, not my people. Okay, he got stabbed in his back. Hey, God, you with me, man. I love you. Allah is the greatest. Allah, you're the best. You know he can't fight. He has to stab me. It's okay. It's okay, brother. You're going to be all right. Never mind. I respect that. You know? You're going to be all right. Never let no practice fuck with you and sit. Don't, don't worry. You're going to be all right, brother. Yeah, man. Stop using so much energy, okay? Yeah. Never let the white man fuck with you. May Allah be with you. Yeah, yeah. Yes, y'all, y'all, y'all send back up around that corner because he went on fear of you, okay? He was on fear of you. Back up. He was on fear. It's a racial motivated crime. Okay. Okay. Let's just back up a little bit, please. We're going to make a picture of the camera to see everything. Yeah, they will see the camera. Yeah. Of course, they will pull that camera out because this is ridiculous. I'm not going to come into our neighborhood talking about gentrification and stab my people. Who the hell you think you are? He walked into the Boost Mobile. The, our brother was working there, the victim, and the white man had a knife. And he brandished the knife in front of him. The brother told him, you know, this is not the place for that, put that away, and then started to walk away. The white man then stabbed this brother in the back. Okay, so one. The community then led the police to the the offender's home because the community knows this white man they led him to um 300 linden boulevard apartment 6g that's where they led the police to right um so allegedly the the white man lives in that building now uh i also was told that when the police took him out of the building the suspect the suspected white supremacist the man who stabbed our brother in a store in the broad daylight in front of witnesses the police removed him when they arrested him and took him out they gave him a cigarette okay so i want you to hear this interview i did with the brother who did not want to get on camera but who knows of the situation this was on my instagram live do you know anything about the brother that got stabbed in the Boost Mobile? The guy got locked up. The huh? The guy got locked up. But they're not telling us. Don't you think that we need to know that there's strange white men in our community calling us niggas and stabbing us? No. Um, a little bit more deeper than Okay, that. so tell me. That's why I'm here. I want to know. I'm on Instagram Live with your face isn't on and it's facing me. I promise you. No, no, you're not on. It's, look, look, it's facing me. It's facing me. I promise you. And I put my finger over the camera just so you can feel safe. Okay. Alright, so. But I'm going to put it close to you so we can hear. Dude has been in the area for like five years. The which one? The white dude has been in the area for about five years. Okay. Um, he was an underground battle rapper, a little Eminem, and has been having a bad three weeks. A lot of... The stabber. He's been having a bad three weeks. He already tried to chase two people already. He tried to chase two people? Two black people? Yeah. Because that's all that's around here. And... Okay. Yesterday... Ch wait, hold on. Chase them with what? Not too sure. Okay. Uh, that okay. I don't, I don't want to. All right. But he did that, and yesterday, whatever the altercation was that happened in Boost Mobile, he got caught within the next four or five hours because the person lives on. And y'all knew who it was. After we figured out what we trying to we figured out. So y'all the one, y'all the community is the one who led the police to the suspect. And 
then and then uh, the suspect then hand handed the and then the police handed the suspect with kid gloves. So yeah, let me just make sure. So the this only part that made me mad, the way how they took it, they like, they didn't. They didn't. I was expecting them to get beat, like roughed up. Yeah, nothing, they right? Real nice. They mm. gave him a cigarette. Mm. They um somebody went in and pat him on the back. Or something mm. like that. We all out there cussing our officers, but you know this is the regular dude. It's fucked up to say, but this is regular. No, so let me ask you one more question. You said that the guy was chasing people. Yeah, he was having a bad three weeks. What? But so for every, when I mean by bad three weeks, he's just been. They say he got a medical condition. I don't believe that because you, if you have medical conditions, don't go on and on. Like if you have a medical condition, that's a continuous situation. He just had a bad, fucked up three weeks, and put himself in a situation he wasn't supposed to. I don't, I don't, I don't advocate for what he did. Like I said, I do know of the individual, and a little do I do know of him. He's not that much of a fucked up individual, but I can't put past what he did as something. He fucked up. He called, but he did call dude the nigga before he stabbed. See, him. like I said, I don't know the depths of what happened over there. Okay. But, but I know for the past three weeks he's been having a real. Cause you, cause you know, dude, outside of this particular situation. Yeah. yeah. Uh huh. So he okay. lives in the area. It's somebody we know. Okay. So he just been having a real. You know, that's unacceptable in our neighborhood because they would never accept that in their neighborhood. You know, if we went... Once again, I do not want to sound like I'm condoning any of his bullshit or anything that he did. I'm not condoning. What I'm saying is... Last three weeks, whatever he's been going through, whatever, kicked into his head, and that was that. And he started wilding out, and... He's about to get his ass whooped last week. I know that. They're going to beat the shit out of him last week. Had y'all beat the shit out of him last week, he wouldn't have been able to do this this week. Right. But unfortunately... Follow your instincts next time, brother. No, I know. Because guess what? Follow your instincts. Beat his ass. ass. I know. I know. I see what you mean. I get what you mean. I get... But you know, at... So the white man that they arrested, his name is Michael Sola, S-O-U-L-A. Um, they arrested him at 300 Linden Boulevard, apartment 6G. Um... And here's all his information, his Facebook, his Instagram. He goes by his underground his underground rapper name is Truth the Pain the Pain God. Um, so yeah, so that's the gentleman that they arrested for this crime. So hmm. We'll see. They know who he is, where he lives, so we'll see what they do. What's good, people? I was gonna shoot a video today. I'm having problems with that. I just wanted to say something that was really irking me, man, about this new generation, man. Everybody is so rude, aggressive, verbally threatening to everybody out here, man. I'm white, I'm in the hood. So a lot of people think that I'm a walk all over, that I'm a doormat. Let me tell you something, son. Look me the fuck up, okay? Not only my two-time college graduates, but I'm a known felon, nigga. So just chill the fuck out. Because people stay talking reckless to complete strangers in this society that we live in these days, and you never know what someone dealing with or what someone could do to you, man. Don't judge a book by its cover. It's a shame how many grown-ass adults don't have this educational knowledge of a second-grade student. I'm not going to play with people. You talk to me crazy, I'm going to talk to you reckless, and we're going to see what's popping. I'll knock your fucking head off. Straight up. This is just like another Dylan Roof situation. This man was allowed to come in our community, stab one of us, and the police not only handled him with kid gloves, but instead of giving him a burger like they did with Dylan Roof, they gave him a cigarette to calm his nerves. Because, the, you know, the community was outraged. Okay? This is an example of some of a cultural vulture who comes into our community, loves our culture, but hates our people, commits violent acts against our people. No consequences come to him as a result of these violent acts that he commits on our people. So he ends up standing alone in our culture. I feel that the powers that be or whatever, all the politicians, the news, everybody's trying to cover this up. Everybody's trying to cover this up like this didn't happen. I went into the store. I asked around. They specifically told me that it was two customers that got into an argument. If you were on my live, that's what I was saying at first. They specifically told me it was two customers that got into an argument, not that it was an employee. So we not only need to watch Boost Mobile, we need to watch the police on how they're going to handle this situation, how they're going to prosecute this situation. We need to handle uh, the justice system, the injustice system. But they already arrested him. He's a known felon. He already said that. So we need to be watching this situation on how they're going to handle this person. And we also need to watch him to make sure that he doesn't do this act again. We need to have our eyes open. We can no longer put our heads in the sand and, and see people who are friendly, who pretend to be our friend, to pretend to come into our culture, okay? Using the guise of hip hop 
and then literally stab us in the back. 